what do you reckon these are, Katie? To preserve the element of surprise, Sam has removed all the important details. Oh my god! Oh. At question mark, on question mark, at question mark. The reception will follow in question mark. Do you like the invites, Katie? No. <laughs> They're a bit minimal, aren't they? He's made them himself by the looks of it. <laughs> Doesn't mean I have to like them, does it? <laughs> I'm a bit worried about this invite. It's not exactly Rococo, is it? That is really modern. It's minimalistic. Are you worried? Yeah, I am. That tells me it's a very modern... ...trendy wedding. Do you think that's setting the tone for the rest of the day? Well, how can it not? For me, when you get an invitation, it, it's telling you about the style of the day. And this is a modern, minimalistic invitation. That is not my dream day. So who's he pleasing? Is he getting married to someone else? <laughs> I'm actually quite worried my dress is going to be quite modern and trendy now. I really don't know what to say. I'm actually, I, I kind of wish I hadn't seen her. The arrival of the invitations is a reminder to Katie that she's not in control. She signed a legal contract banning her from talking to Sam. But maybe a text won't count. She's worried. She's, she's worried. <sighs> because I'm just not replying to messages. She's not hearing me. She's not hearing me every day. She's not... You know, she's not seeing me. Right now I'm really worried that the whole day is just going to be nothing like how I imagined it to be. And he's picked a completely different style and he's, he has no idea of what I want. I'd much rather ring, but I'm not allowed to ring her. I can't talk to her, so... I'd be so disappointed if the wedding's nothing like I imagined. <laughs> to be honest with you, I absolutely hate it. I absolutely hate it when she sends me messages like that. Texts from Katie aren't Sam's only problem. He's taking Eddie to Ragley Hall to finalise the details. But he's forgotten to budget for VAT. The total bill for his venue hire and food has come in at £800 more than he was expecting. There's nothing hidden with our costs, Sam. No. I never, I quoted you the prices as I would quote anyway. Yeah. All our quotes, prices are plus VAT. Anything I quote right. to you was plus VAT. I, didn't, I just didn't realise, obviously, didn't get told that because his budget was three thousand pounds. You knew his budget was three thousand pounds, and that and was it. Basically, what I'm going to need to do now, though, obviously, is save money elsewhere. Really, I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to be able to afford a sit-down meal for everyone. What about barbecues instead? You can have a barbecue, but again, it... it's not traditional. But I mean, I think that it's. Um, Probably going to be a bit disappointing for your guests to have a barbecue. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I know you're trying to save money, but <sighs> do you mean it's Katie's biggest yeah. day of her life, and I think you do need a sit-down meal. We've done it as cheap as we possibly can for you to help you mm. out, but I can't. I can't pay the staff any less. I can't have any less staff off. We wouldn't have any less on. I can't give you cheaper tables, cheaper linen, cheaper crockery. I wouldn't do that to you. What linen have you got? Just out of interest. It's our own. It's our own linen. What colour? It's white. White. Yeah, white linen. I'm going to need to dress the table. But again, you're going to push your budgets doing that. Yeah, well... But, but were you prepared to push your budgets that way, but not push your budgets on things like food and service? No, that's the thing, see. But I don't understand where you... For me, that's, that's <laughs> not... That. I suppose we've got different priorities, haven't we? We have, yeah. <laughs> to me, that's where you should be looking at your budgets, and I, and I don't mm. think I can do any more for you there. I've no idea what he's going to do about money. I think he's going to... I think he's got to try and prioritise a bit better and make cuts on the less important things. The pressure is on. With two weeks to go, Sam's VAT crisis has pushed his overspend to £2,300. And Katie's texts are taking on an alarming tone. The messages I'm getting off Katie, she's like really unsure about the whole thing. So I'm sure she's not really, I don't know. I just want to make sure that everything's okay. She's 
She's got like doubts about weddings and getting married now. She's coming up with things like, oh no, should we really be getting married? And what? Yeah, well, that's her. Like, that's her. <laughs> what does matter is that Sam and I are getting married for the right reasons and we should be getting married. And we're going to be happy. I've got her. She's stressing me out a bit now, and then I've got the wedding stressing me out as well. So I just need to. Oh, how can I make her know that I love her to bits? Eddie comes up with an emergency plan. He and Sam will go up to Leicester to visit the girls and try to allay Katie's fears in person. But there'll be no talk about the wedding. Surprise! <laughs> How you doing? Where were you? So, why was I getting so many horrible texts? Because you're ignoring me and you think that you're the only one who's got any stress. <laughs> it's just we're not allowed to talk, are we? And it's like... I wasn't ignoring you. I was getting your texts and I was reading them. No, okay. <laughs> but I, you You're know, an I was, asshole. Yeah, I know, I was like, okay, no. I one. hate you. I know, yeah. <laughs> so how do I you apply don't to apply that? to me, I'm not going to marry you. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> do I got two dresses? I'm not commenting on anything like that. That's starting to get too detailed. Not allowed. No. <laughs> no wonder you're thinking about the wedding, the wedding, the wedding, because I've put you under so much pressure to do it right. <sighs> Damn right, yeah. <laughs> so you're going to do it, right? <laughs> <clears throat> you getting the wedding I'm making for you.